What's up everybody, Jay here and welcome back to the Planted Tank and today I set up my 10 gallon divided beta tank, so let's go check it out. Okay, sorry, I know it's a little dark, but this tank, in my opinion, looks absolutely awesome. I love having my bettas in the same tank, just because I can interact with both of them at the same time, instead of going from one tank to another tank. I'm gonna run through the plant list. I have some jungle, or not jungle valve, um, it's, it was labeled as contortion valve, but I think it's Italian valve. Um, a couple of them are kind of like twisting, but none of them are really like hardcore twisting like a whole lot, but uh, I got some water spray on both sides. I got some uh, Hygrophila Corium Boza Compact on both sides, Pennywort both sides, Crips, and S Repens. So hopefully this light is enough. Uh, if it's not, then I'll just switch over to something else, but uh, I'm really, really digging it. I got one big rock in his uh, side and then two small ones over there for the rule of thirds. <laughs> but. This whole little kit that I bought from Life With Pets is actually pretty awesome. I have the air control valve up there. I already had an air filter or, or, or an air pump, so I didn't need that. And then I have the two sponge filters and then the tank divider. The tank divider is absolutely awesome. It fit perfect. It took me forever to go find a Aquion 10 gallon tank that's like not the kit, but I don't know why, but they were just sold out everywhere I went looking for them. But uh, that's pretty much all I got for this video. I'm really really excited to, to watch this tank fill in. I'm just gonna let it get super jungly on both sides. Um, I'm just gonna let it go and see what it does. So, oh I did mix the uh, substrate. This is just top fin premium aquarium gravel. I got it from PetSmart. It was like a 50 pound bag. I don't think they have this, this grain size in anything smaller than the 50 pound bag. But uh, I did mix it with Osmocote Plus. I just put Osmocote Plus in the bottom and then put the substrate on top. So hopefully that'll give me a good uh, nutrient boost in the beginning. And then I'll probably supplement with, my, with uh, DIY root tabs uh, later on down the road when I need it. But anyways, like I said, that's pretty much all I got for this video. If you guys are new here, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss another upload. And if you like this video, hit the like button. And as always... Keep it plain.